name's James Hughes, Chief Market Analyst here at Scope Markets, and this is your daily briefing. US and European equity futures rose as investors showed tentative signs of edging back into risk assets despite yesterday's falls on Wall Street. This comes as many are assessing the economic impact of efforts to contain the coronavirus. Stocks in Asia were mixed with declines in Japan and Australia and gains in South Korea. Hong Kong fluctuated and Chinese equities edged higher. Oil prices jumped by around 7% with with the world's biggest importer, China, taking advantage of a 60% plunge this year to add to its stockpiles. The Chinese look to pick up oil supplies in this flooded market as global demand is falling off a cliff but production remains high. It was stories about the worsening coronavirus picture in the US which was the catalyst for stocks to fall on Wall Street yet again last night with the Dow down over 900 points. In the latest developments, New York remains the major epicenter of the virus in the US. The worsening picture in Japan saw Prime Minister Shinzo Abe start to discuss various different forms of potential stimulus which are all expected to be funded domestically. However, the Japanese Prime Minister stopped short of declaring a national emergency, saying the time was not yet right for that sort of measure. Today sees the release of some important economic data, with the headline being the initial jobless claims out of the USA. Last week's figure jumped from a normal reading of 240,000 to show that 3.2 million Americans claimed unemployment benefits. This week, the number is expected to jump even higher, with expectations putting the reading anywhere between 3.5 and 4.5 million. Unemployment is likely to be the major story for the rest of the week, after yesterday's private ADP payroll number came in weaker than expected. That was not a surprise, but the negative 100,000 reading could give us an indication as to what to expect from Friday's non-farm payroll. However, we can't put too much emphasis on the non-farm payroll, jobs figures, or any backward-looking data at the moment because it doesn't give us a full data set that covers a time when coronavirus was at its worst.